you guys. My stomach hurts. My kamiyoshi does to your daughter, you guys. You... I have this. I have Calm Kids gummy magnesium magnesium supplements for for to make kids calm. I'm about to overdose, you guys. I'm about to overdose, you guys. I've had two gummies. The 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 direction says up to four. I think I'm gonna have four. <laughs> I'm gonna have four magnesium supplement gummies and you guys can't stop me. My stomach hurts. <laughs> oh, thank you guys for the gift. It's a calm kids gummy. Um, everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. Mm. Who, who am I exactly? Ah! Introduction. Ah, first your neck and then your heart from Brave Group's first English project. V for me, die. Second generation, pet light. I'm... The Timeless Vampire, Maria. If you guys came from Alias Stream, um, I am her... <laughs> I'm her senpai. <laughs> oh! I am the senpai. I am second generation uh, to... Er, uh, Petalite is senpai to Lunalia. T. <laughs> Um, she is my cute wrestling otaku kohai. I love her very much. <laughs> Metal Gear. Yes, Metal Gear. I'll be honest, I don't know... I don't... I have somehow dodged all... Most Metal Gear... Um... Spoilers? So I, I don't wish for it to start today where I... I... Uh, I get spoiled. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know much about this game. I'll be honest. Did you see membership? Membership's opened already. I was a mem. I was an OG member. Membership number thirty nine on the card, baby. Number thirty nine. But when I look at my history on YouTube, it says it. It doesn't have it anymore. Same thing with my chupa. My chupa history, but that's okay. I'll just have to rebuild. We we rebuild. <laughs> just today, just open today. Really? Yeah. Number thirty-nine. I was number thirty-nine. There will be things that reference the OG Metal Gear One and Two that will confuse you. Okay, I thought it was it was okay for me to play this. <laughs> it's okay. We'll see. If if it's too confusing, maybe I'll go back to. I saw there is a cute, a cute girl named Barry. She told me to play Metal Gear, the first one. So if this one is too confusing after a couple hours, I will go back. Oh, don't! <laughs> yeah, she's here. <laughs> Did you do that? It's fine. It's fine. Okay, Yuffie, Yuffie. She is so cute. Ah, I'm nervous. I don't know anything about this game. I kind of feel... Kinda... I've been wanting to play this. That's why I haven't watched Boss's playthrough of it. But I think... Uh, even though I didn't watch Boss's playthrough, I think... Uh, there might be a replay? A spooky replay? Who knows? Who knows? Press any button. My controller, my, my controller passed out. My controller passed out. One sec. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? Oh. 
why is that? One sec. If this is if this ends up not being part of my personality after playing this game, I'm gonna be so disappointed. I'm gonna be so disappointed if this game doesn't become part of my personality. Just kidding. <laughs> Demand a refund. This game, I didn't fly all the way to different states to go to Metal Gear Con and to go to Metal Gear Orchestra. Zero. 50 hours in the game. Zero to five. You're waiting for the brain run. I want to know why. <laughs> I want to understand. Uh, it's not working. Hold on. Come on, controller. The story is amazing. Even though it's 30 years old. Isn't that great? 30 year old story. Can you hear it okay? Game selection. What? We have a VR. Audio is good? Okay, I'll cut that. Is this right? Is this the right one? Released in 1998. This one, this one should be the right one. Nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces, being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then... We'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. 
So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Where are my calm gummies? Where are my calm gummies? button is that? Oh. New game. Let's do normal. Okay. Briefings. Oh, I missed it. No. Go back. How? Situation, Snake. Ah! Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. Wait, it's over. Okay. Uh, I'll have four. I'll have four. Okay. OBS ah! is going to close. Press ah! the select button. I'll have four. The codec's receiver directly. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. I'm safe. I think I'm, I'm safe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I wasn't paying attention. Do I have to watch it again? Oh, I'm sweating. I spent my whole life avoiding spoilers. Thank you for the 10 gifties. You can skip, I can press any button. Oh, okay. Okay. Press sandwich. It's been a long time, Snake. I should have known you were behind this, Colonel. That's no way to greet an old war buddy, Snake. What do you want from me? I just invited you here so we could have a talk. Invited? That's what you call sending armed soldiers after me? Sorry if they were a little rough with you. But we've got a serious situation here. Only you can get us out of it. I'm retired from Foxhound. You're not my commander anymore, and I don't have to take orders from you or anyone else. You That's will Snake? take these orders. I know it. Excuse me. Who's this? Dr. Naomi Hunter. 
She's chief of Foxhound's medical staff. I own and an me. expert in gene therapy. Are you military? I'm looking for the gifties. No, civilian. I've been sent here from ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. Don't worry. This injection won't hurt a bit. What's the shot for? What's wrong? You don't like shots? Snake, listen up. It all went down five hours ago. Heavily armed soldiers occupied Shadow Moses Island, a remote island off the coast of Alaska. What soldiers? Next generation special forces, led by members of Unit Foxhound. They've presented Washington with a single demand, and they say that if it isn't met, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. A nuclear weapon? I'm afraid so. You see, the island is the site of a secret nuclear weapons disposal facility. Foxhound hijacking a nuclear weapon? Now you understand how serious the situation is. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson. And the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. They're both being held as hostages. Those are some heavy-duty hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to launch a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. Any questions, Snake? Questions? I haven't even said whether I'd accept this mission. Well, you can make up your mind after you hear more about the situation. Mission description. Wait, was this what I did with it? Skip. Skip. Colonel, I don't work for the government anymore. Let me go back to Twin Lakes. Why, Snake? Is your life in Alaska all that great? There's a dog sled race it. this week. Next Saturday, I have to be in Anchorage. Yeah, dinner on the longest sled race in the world. When did you become a dog musher? Right now, my 50 Huskies are my only family. I've got to take care of them. Don't worry about your dogs. What do you mean? I'm sorry, Snake, but this vessel is headed for the Bering Sea. There's no room for debate. I told you. Even if I do owe you, I don't owe anything to this army or this country. You will accept this assignment. Why should I be stupid enough to do that? I'm no patriot. Snake, there's enough dirt in your file from your days as an agent to keep you in the stockade until you're a very old man. Oh, I see. Blackmail. No, Snake. I prefer to look at it as helping you come to a decision more easily. That's but anyway, thing. I know you better than that. You take this assignment even without the threat. Why do you say that? You're a natural-born soldier. You're not the grow old gracefully type. It's the same for all of us who've seen real action. The only place we can feel truly alive is on the battlefield. I'm a soldier too. I know those feelings of powerlessness, frustration that you feel every day. You've tried to play the Boy Scout out there in Alaska, but you can't race dogs in the snow forever. Why don't you come back to us? And be a soldier again. You think my life is some kind of a joke? Snake, I just want to give you back your purpose in life. But the 50 dogs. I see. Oh, is that it for the reefer? Right? The purpose is the 50 dogs. Okay. New game. Am I ready for a new game? I know I asked for no for no thingies, but there's more. Oh yeah, Operation Member. Roy Campbell, Doctor and Naomi. Why did it leave? Zero, zero. Detailed information? Oh! 
Yeah, person in charge of the operation. Thank you. <laughs> I get zero and X confuses, sorry. <laughs> Colonel, who are you speaking for? Naturally, I'm representing the U.S. government. So who's in supervisory control of this operation? The President of the United States. Which means that the President must be meeting with his top aides in the map room about now, huh? No, at this point they're still video conferencing with each other. If that's a real nuclear warhead, shouldn't they issue a COG? Not yet. The Secretary of Defense has operational control and is fully aware of the situation. After you infiltrate, if you determine they possess nuclear launch capabilities, a COG will be issued. Well, if they haven't relocated to the nuclear shelter under Mount Washington, I suppose there isn't that much reason to worry yet. Is the National Security Agency in on this? Yes. So is the DIA, the Defense Intelligence Agency. The DIA? I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. They'll be sending us some support. We don't need desk jockeys. We need a nuclear weapons specialist. Of course. A nuclear weapons specialist has already been assigned to us. And there's so many letters. D-I-A-C-O-G. We need backup from a specialist. I'm just an amateur when it comes to nuclear weapons. I know. That's why I've requested the assistance of a military analyst named Nastasha Romanenko. She'll be providing you backup by codec. Oh. A female analyst? She's what? built up an impressive record as an advisor for the nuclear emergency search team. Contact her if you have any questions. You She's say also like an that? expert on high-tech weapons. Where's she working from? At her home in Los Angeles. California. Seems like a million miles away. California. Such a lawless land. Colonel, you're retired. Why are you involved in this? Because there aren't many people who know Foxhound as well as I do. Is that really the only reason? I've been soldiering for a long time. I don't know anything else. I guess even though I'm getting a little old, I still love to be in the field. Colonel, you're a lousy liar. Tell me the real reason. Okay, Snake. Sorry. I'll be frank. A person very dear to me is being held hostage. Who is it? My niece, Meryl. Whoa. What was your niece doing here? Several soldiers were reported missing the day of the revolt. And my niece was one of those called in as an emergency replacement. She looks like you. She's my little brother's girl. He died in the Gulf War. And since then, I've been watching after her. A personal motive, Colonel. That's not very soldierly. I'm retired. I'm just an old man now. And I'm your friend. Since when are we friends? I've thought of us as friends since the fall of Zanzibar. With my personality, I don't have too many friends. That's what I trust about you. It's what makes you human. Please, Snake. Save my niece, Meryl. All right. But I have two conditions. Name them. One, no more secrets between us. I want complete disclosure at all times. And two, I'll only accept orders directly from you, Colonel. No Ooh. cutoffs involved, okay? Agreed. That's why I was called. But one thing. What? I'm not a Colonel anymore. Just a retired old warhorse. I understand, Colonel. Voice acting is so good. That doctor, is she part of this operation too? She was in charge of Foxhound's gene therapy. Oh, she knows more about those men than anyone else. 
You mean you've seen them naked? Make no mistake, I'm not a nurse. I'm a scientist. By the way, what was that injection for? It's a combination of nanomachines and an anti-freezing peptide so that your blood and other bodily fluids don't freeze, even at sub-arctic temperatures. Nanomachines? Not just one kind, either. There are different types which will replenish the supply of adrenaline, nutrition, and sugar in your bloodstream. Uh, now I don't have to worry about food. I also put some nootropics in there. Say what? Nootropics. A class of drugs which will help improve your mental functioning. It'll make me smarter, huh? Anything else? Yes. Benzedrine. It's a type of stimulant. It'll keep you alert and responsive for 12 straight hours. That was quite a cocktail. Anything else in there? Those nanomachines will also keep your codex batteries charged up. Well, I guess I can call you when I'm ready to go on a diet. You're welcome. So I can't freeze, I can't go hungry, and I can't... The chief of DARPA and the president of an arms manufacturing company. What business did they have at a nuclear weapons disposal facility? The truth is that secret exercises were being conducted at the time the terrorist group attacked. Must be extremely important exercises if those two were directly involved. Were they testing some kind of new advanced weapon? I'm not privy to that information. Do we know exactly where they're being held? The DARPA chief has also been injected with the mini transmitter. As you get closer, you should be able to pick up his location on your radar. DARPA chief. Do they really have the ability to launch a nuclear missile? They say they do. They even gave us the serial number of the warhead they plan to use. Was the number confirmed? I'm afraid so. At the very least, they've got their hands on a real nuclear warhead. Isn't there some kind of safety device to prevent this type of terrorism? Yes. Every missile and warhead in our arsenal is equipped with a PAL, which uses a discreet detonation code. PAL? Permissive Action Link. The safety control system built into all nuclear weapons systems. But even so, we can't rest easy. Why not? because the DARPA chief knows the detonation code. But even if they have a nuclear warhead, it must have been removed from its missile. All the missiles on these disposal sites are supposed to be dismantled. It's not that easy to get your hands on an ICBM. That used to be true. But since the end of the Cold War, you can get anything if you have enough money and the right connections. CBM, what is that? How well armed are these terrorists? I know there was an exercise going on at the time they revolted. They're heavily armed, I'm afraid. What about their battle experience? The six members of Foxhound in charge are all hardened veterans. They're tough enough to eat nails and ask for seconds. I wouldn't expect anything less from Foxhound. The others are so next generation tough. special forces. They're not your average grunts either. How tough are you? How tough am I? I'll eat nails and house for seconds. So what exactly are they demanding? A person's remains. Remains? That's right. To be more accurate, cell specimens which contain the individual's genomic information. Cell specimens? Why would they want that? The terrorists need them. You see, these next generation special forces have been strengthened through gene therapy. Strengthened? You've heard of the Human Genome Project. They've been mapping the human genome, and they're nearly finished. Following up on this research, the military has been working towards identifying those genes which are responsible for making effective soldiers. There are genes that do that? Yes. And using gene therapy, they're able to transplant those genes into regular soldiers. Gene therapy? I'll explain this part. With gene therapy, we can remove those genes which we know may lead to sickness or disease, and at the same time, splice in genes with beneficial effects, such as resistance to cancer, for example. 
In other words, we can overcome all sorts of genetic diseases and at the same time add genetic characteristics as desired. Okay. And so if you knew what genes were responsible for making the perfect soldier, you could implant them in the same way, right? Yes, we could. But it all depends on being able to isolate and identify those soldier genes. And in order to do that, it's helpful if you can study the genomic information of one of the greatest soldiers ever. One of the greatest soldiers ever? The man they call the greatest warrior of the 20th century. You don't mean Big Boss. Big Boss! Right. We've been working feverishly to identify the genes responsible for this incredible thing. combat skill. So far, we've discovered about 60 of the so-called soldier genes. So his body was recovered after all. Yes, and his cells have remained frozen in a cryo chamber. His genomic information is a priceless treasure to mankind. Priceless to the military, perhaps. His body was burned severely, but it was possible to restore his DNA profile from just a single strand of his hair. You people are amazing. And then you're gonna transplant those genes into soldiers? Yes. We'll use a process that I discovered called gene targeting. The strongest soldiers don't become what they are by acquiring their skills through training or experience. We now know that hereditary factors are far more crucial for creating superior soldiers. Snake, we can't give them his body. It's potentially more dangerous than all the nuclear warheads on that island put together. I hear the terrorists are calling themselves the Sons of Big Boss. The Sons of Big Boss? The Sons of Big Boss. <laughs> Me alone. Tell me about these next generation special forces. They started out as an anti-terrorist special ops unit, made up of former members of biochem units, technical escort units, and the nuclear emergency search team. Their purpose was to respond to threats involving next-generation weapons of mass destruction, including NBC weapons. Until they were added, that is. Who's they? These guys didn't start out as regular army. Looks like a pretty international group. Mercenaries? Yeah, and it gets worse. Most of them were from a Merc agency that I think you're familiar with. They were part of Big Boss's private guard. And after Big Boss went down, the military just bought out all their contracts. Outer heaven. After that, they were merged with our own VR unit, Force 21, and retrained. If you ask me, these so-called next generation special forces should be called simulated soldiers. They have no real battle experience. Video game players, huh? Don't forget, they've all been strengthened what? with gene what does therapy. That mean? They carry genes which make them excellent soldiers. Don't get careless just because they don't have much experience. I thought using genetically modified soldiers was prohibited by international law. Yes, but those are just declarations, not actual treaties. The interesting thing is that nearly every member of the unit conspired in this attack. How could an entire unit be subverted to rebellion? They're calling it a revolution. Since they all went through the same gene therapy, they probably felt closer than brothers. They see the unit as their only family. The sons of Big Boss. But if they were regular army, they must have been interviewed periodically by army counselors. According to their files, they all got straight A's on their psychological tests. They all seemed like fine, upstanding, patriotic soldiers. But they all took part in the uprising? No. Several people didn't show up on the day of the exercise. That's why there was a resupply of troops. Was there any sign recently that something might be wrong? There was a report a month ago that they were acting strangely. Apparently they consulted classified information about the soldier genes and performed their own gene therapy experiments. They can do that even without you? Well, our gene therapy process is almost completely automated. And besides that, they're all geniuses with IQs over 180. Even the existence of this genome army is a national secret of the highest order. We've been hoping to investigate this thing quietly and deal with it behind closed doors. 
180 high? So smart? Is that so smart? Is that... <laughs> High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit. And one that I was a commander of. And you mean the high An elite fire? group combining firepower and expertise. They're every bit as good as when I was commanding them. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. That's her. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. Looks like a lovely bunch of folks. Too bad we'll be meeting under these circumstances. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? Yes. And you're the only person who can stand against him. Okay. It's like Kingdom Hearts 2. But instead of 13, there's only six of them. Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. This is Roxas. Man with the same code name as you. Tell me what you know. I'm Sora. He fought in the Gulf War as a teenager, the youngest person in the SAS. His job was to track down and destroy mobile Scud missile launching platforms. You were there too, I believe. Didn't you infiltrate Western Iraq with a platoon of Green Berets? I was just a kid myself back then. The details are classified, but it seems that originally he penetrated the Middle East as a sleeper for the SIS. Is anything about him? That's He's David a spy Bowie! For the British Secret Intelligence Service? But he never once showed his face in Century House. He was taken prisoner in Iraq, and after that, there was no trace of him for several years. After you retired, he was rescued and became a member of Foxhound. I thought that by the time I left, they were no longer using code names. I don't know his real name. That information is so highly classified that even I can't look at it. Here's a photo of him. <gasps> Pretty shocking, huh? <laughs> his skin tone is different, but otherwise you two are exact duplicates. Oh. I have a twin? I don't know the details, but it seems so. That's why we really need you for this mission. You're the only one who can beat him. Now that I've met you, I know. You got something that he doesn't. I can see it in your eyes. What is it? Why don't I find that thought more comforting? Liquid snake. Solid snake. Gaseous and plasma snake. There's st there's still more. Eh? Where? There's a green one. Where? Ah, operation outline. Infiltration. Tell me about the nuclear weapon disposal facility. Uh -huh. The disposal facility includes a hardened underground base. Even with our most advanced intelligence gathering equipment, we can't tell what's happening inside. So someone needs to penetrate, gather intelligence, and report back. Sounds like a spy movie. What's the insertion method? Well, an air insertion is impossible. Not with this storm going on. We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. Approach? Yes. Within a few miles of it, the facility is equipped with sonar detection capabilities. They'd be able to hear our engine or propeller noise. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. Launch? Same as a torpedo, only this has no propulsion device of its own. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. 
You want me to swim in sub-zero Alaskan water? Let's Don't grab the worry. nanobot. That suit represents the latest advances in polythermal technology. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? Thank you. As Those usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. What's the time limit? 24 hours. <sighs> they say they'll launch after 24 hours. Do they say what the target will be? So far, they haven't mentioned the target. When did the countdown start? Five hours ago. F 19 hours remaining. All right. I need to borrow your scissors. What are you going to do? Don't worry, just gonna clean myself up a little. Huh? I don't want to be mistaken for the leader of the terrorists. Mission circumcision? What? <laughs> okay. Wouldn't it be a good thing if I'm doing like a, a mission to hide? It's time. It's time. That's me? Solid Snake? He's the most handsome guy here. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Okay, just don't get caught. Simple. Okay. Can I jump? Oh, I see. So, move, crouch, is X. Ooh, nerve. Okay, there's someone there. What was that noise? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Stand 
there's a puddle there. Do I have a gun? No, right? Okay. Push the left. Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You better hide somewhere. Okay. Good hide. <laughs> Ration. There weapons around here if I look for if I look for them Snake, I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. Age I'm relieved to hear that. It? Already Blank. tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Okay. Whoa. Behind D. Colonel. Behind D. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got Found their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Okay. Don't get a 
eliminated. Only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's wow. that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. Yeah. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah, I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton mm. radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Okay. I look for the green dot, I avoid the blue cones and the red dot. Easy. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Mm. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Should I write this down? I should Remember, write this down. Except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. Okay. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do okay. a strip search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. Okay, so we by the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Oh, cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. Uh a different a different way if you want to get in there's the front door it's the fastest way but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy okay i can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in what's the easy uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right mm. they're armed with five five sixers and pineapples What about the air duct near the door? Oh. There should also be a duct on the second floor. Okay. I can't see it from here. Okay. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Yes. Pana. I wish there was a way to go quieter. Ah. Okay. It looks like... Hyrule, thank you for joining the bloodstream. 
you know, I won't be worried you're gonna be watching this. Thank you, I see you're gonna be watching too. Okay, let's go over. Pineapple side. Oh, variations. Full, oh, okay. Huh? Whose footprints are these? must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that, too. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hein D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon. The hindy. Select exit. Oh. Sus. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? Master? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. Ooh. My frequency is 141.80. Are you sure I don't need to write this down? 14180 for Master Miller? Wait, let's take a peek. They save in your codec? Huh? I moved the Dark Chief to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. Wow. About to start spraying for rats. First floor rats? basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? That was crazy one. Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? That was me? Yeah. Say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Yeah. Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. They're gonna smoke me out, you guys. Is this? No. Okay, 
first floor. How far are you there? Thank you for the fine gifting. I'm playing Metal Gear for the first time. Press the action button to drop down. Call me just for that. But there's a... There's a ration right in front of me. Do you feel immersed yet? I like it. Oh my gosh, what? Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. the elevator okay don't make too much noise or you'll be spotted be careful when you're walking on that floor <laughs> okay okay Suck them. Suck them what? I'm gone. How do I pull it out? That's not anywhere. Can I fit through the staircase still? Oh, now.
No, 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 no. Anything here? No. button the elevator should show up in no time action button control panel is this one easy Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Look at the radar. Oh, no. It's picking. Uh, I got you. Save. Oh, save. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Can I borrow your memory card? I don't Come have on. space. I don't have space on my memory card. I don't have space on my memory card. Can I use yours, please? I don't want to lose my... DDR. DDR6 data. Oh, these doors don't open? No? I don't see a green dot. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Mm. Snake, oh, if you want to go up or down a ladder, I just got press you. the action that. button by the ladder. Okay. <laughs> it was there, but it disappeared. Eh? We have to save the Dapa from Snake. The DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Mm. Take a look around in first person view mode. How? First person view mode. Save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How do they plan to launch? 
I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will is change that the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. It can't be. He you said knew? the thing. Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. Oh. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. That is a Metal Gear? It looks like a Nikkei. Nikkei boss. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? Eh? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety <laughs> Go back to talking. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. Hunted a cube for real, for real, for real, for That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. Power. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. Oh. If they find out Baker's password. Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. There is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. <gasps> you can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen. You need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Mm. Any other clues? Yes, they cemented over the entrances but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? Uh -huh. It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? 
You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing aren't, to do with my orders. Aren't you the president? But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? Light you got me. Uh, dead. <laughs> what? He just dies in front of you. Naomi, the chief. What happened? I I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but a heart attack? Oh, no. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. <laughs> he does seem cringe. No. What do I do? <laughs> the door's open. Don't move! <laughs> So you killed the chief, you bastard! I ain't do shit. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful, <laughs> I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance, that scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! Woo! So cool! How do I shoot? Uh it's an X? Oh dear! Ah! How do I shoot? There's no instructions! <laughs> That's how I lay down! Wait, hold on. Take care. <laughs> Body block. Who is she? Meryl? Hi. My, my safety was on. Don't. I didn't. Don't think. Don't shoot. Did you so check the book? You killed the chief. You bastard. Uh. Liquid? No, you're not. 
Don't move. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? So awesome. Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. You that can scared skip it, look in your but eyes. it's such a good cut your scene. Your eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person in my... Okay, okay. Touch it. Square. Oh. Square. Square. Oh, they're not one shot. Oh, sorry. Sorry. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. How do I... Um... I'm telling you, shoot! How do I heal? No! Snake! Snake! L2? L2? I see. Hold on. There... There has to be instructions. You should equip actions. You're learning, so you're learning. How do I? <laughs> Shouldn't lay down. Is R two? Ah, no weapon. Sokom, Chavji. I see. Hold down, square to aim. How do I use this? Press square to pull pin, release the throw. I should probably save those. It's not like time crisis, right? L2. Ah. ID card when equipped. Six. Smoking is how to your health. Restores life. Use by pressing O while the menu is open. Okay. Scope. Magnifying scope. O to zoom in. O to zoom in. Should I keep it equipped? Should I keep it equipped? If I hold them, <gasps> he auto eats them? So you killed the chief. Ah, ah, you I bastard. See. As I need that. I see. Liquid? No. Is Ration calorie meat? Don't move. Oh, skip it. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Ration. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. I have to. Bob and weave, Bob and weave. Okay. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. No, I'm telling friend? you, shoot! Ah! No calorie meat! <laughs> Wait, they're gonna die! Ah, I see, he does auto eat them. I need more. I'll do it again and I need more bullets. I was so close. Okay. Need more bullets. Need more bullets. Let me out. Okay. 
そうかもうんNo. That mantis. Good girl, just like that. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nano machines? No, Snake. The nano machines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Mm. How come they don't open on these ones? Uh, the goal is to go to the the first floor, right? Or not, uh, B2. B2, B2. Try again. So open with my salt. With the salt in my body. Higher level, I see.
Do any of them open? Oh. What if I did fall? Would I die forever? I need... I need a save. Uh... Eto. Can I save? You caught Snake? Can I save? Okay. Okay. Head down to get my contacts. Ah, oh, I see. None of the doors open. Why? What if I intentionally fall? What if... What if I... Snake! What happened? Snake! Snake! You need to equip the card. Ah! It's not automatic. I see! Level one card. Oh no? C C42 Plastic explosive. I see. I see. And then I already went there. And then there's a door over here. Call my friends and I need help. Ah, I see. Let's call Campbell. The walls that were cemented over should look slightly different. Ah. Look at the walls carefully in first person view mode. Try to find the walls that have a different pattern. Did you try hitting the wall? Maybe it'll sound different too. Those C4 explosives you've got should be able to destroy the walls that were cemented over. Oh, sorry. No, okay. Sorry. No, called Keith Triangle. I see. Okay, what well, wall looks different? Oh? And then. Where to set? Zero to decimate. Square. Square. And then... I see... Oh, this is so cool. to set zero to detonate can't just detonate the normal walls. Oh, here. Squ 
where I just sat? Jamming? Ah! Too late. Donald? Oh no. He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it. Huh? C4. Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. <laughs> Don't touch it like that. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. He said the thing! Now I'll show you why they call me... Revolver. <laughs> I didn't know that was from this game! Draw! What do I do? Wait, let me get my sock come out. Okay! I didn't realize. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't touch the wires. Other way. <laughs> oh. I'm fine. It just was a flesh wound. Oh. 
Oh, bullet. Uh, wait. I see things here, but I feel like I'm gonna touch it. Careful. Okay. No, suck him, suck him, suck him. Okay. Come here! Oi, oi! Stop him! Come here! <laughs> You're being silly! No item? Fist, right? That's not my fist. How do I? Wait, I have a... Uh... Grenades. Grenades. Square to pull turn, put it over the throat. Okay. Okay, okay. Square? Square to place? Square to place? Oh, to run? Okay. I'm stinking off a lot. Hiding won't help you. I understand the bullets you see. I make them go. <laughs> Welcome. Ration. Okay. Oh! I didn't need help. Oh. I love to reload. <laughs> Wait, I didn't <laughs> shoot you, old man. I'm sorry. Let's go. You better hurry up. The old man's not gonna last. Don't you want to settle this? One bullet. When does when does it spawn more? When? Uh, eh. Wait a minute. 
Okay, I got my fist. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then he reloads. And then I shoot him. I see. Okay. And then he's gonna reload again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then he shoots six. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. And then and then I shoot him again. I see. Pretty good. <laughs> Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. I but see. I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! My God. Stealth camouflage. <laughs> You even die right. You were lucky. We'll meet again. Yeah. Who are you? Who's this? I like you. I have no name. Is this that, liquid? That exoskeleton. Not liquid snake. Can you talk? Who are you? Wait, no I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I talked. Uh. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke Boy. it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh. you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. Her. Female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. 
I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... <gasps> oh, sorry. I forgot. <laughs> I thought you were gonna get... <sighs> oh, that's Herod. right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. Mm. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Mm. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high. As far as you can see, because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. The graphics so they just are close so the good. Lid, try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? Muff. It stands for material <laughs> unaccounted for. It proves Sorry. that there's a large and well organized black market in nuclear materials. <laughs> Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You guys need a muff. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. The, the liberals. I see. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? It's gone. An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. Jim's dead. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Mm -hmm. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. Yeah, you giddy. <coughs> uh, you know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi, you've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are, are finished. 
What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Oh, no! Oh, no, it can't be! Those Pentagon bastards! So, they, they actually went and did it! What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for... Night Yukami strikes again. His dummy? What the hell? Hot girls have IBS. It's as simple as that. Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Wait. Okay. Um. I have a level two card. Does that mean that I can go where I was before? Here. And open the other doors. There's someone here now. Oh, what is that? Oh, 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 go. It looks like the place is protected by infrared sensors. Somehow you'll have to make it past the beams. If you have any questions what? about weapons or equipment, did you, tell you should ask our military what? analyst, after, Nastasha. After I tripped the switch, after I, I, after I flipped the switch. It looks like the place is protected by info. Okay, where's Meryl? Her, her, her number's not here. It looks like the place is protected by infrared sensors. What number sensors. did you say? Somehow. One, four, one, five, two. It looks like the place Stop. is protected by infrared. I get it. It looks it's so like the over. Place is protected Numbers in the back of the CD. Numbers in the back of the, the CD case. What do you mean the back of the CD case? Directional buttons. Oh. Huh? Was this it? <laughs> One, four, four, two. Eight, <laughs> zero, zero. I to us oh, this stuff.
This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. Oh. You're the nuclear specialist that the Colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the nuclear emergency search team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. Natasha, time is I of the essence, man. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. Ooh. Nastasha. Anyways, I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Because I tripped the wires? It's like a, a oh, it's an AR. Okay. Snake, answer me. Snake. Snake. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do not check the wires. I can look at the disc. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. Place is protected by infrared sensors. Somehow, isn't Natasha supposed to help me? Natasha, a snake that room is set with infrared sensors. Hey. You should be able to see them if you had some smoke, uh, cigarette smoke, or something. Ah, sorry, but these are smokeless cigarettes. Hey? You mean those cigarettes that are designed to cut down on secondhand smoke? Oh, well, don't worry. If you blow the smoke in the direction of the infrared sensors, you should be able to see them. That was a good idea, bringing the cigarettes, but uh, don't smoke too much. Cigarettes make you weak in mind and body. They are bad for you. I see. Just enough to get the edge off. Square? How do I use it? Is it oh square? How do I use the cigarette? Okay, we get the other guns.
understand. Wait, I went here already. Okay. The cigarette. Was close, right? I see. Can I? It's nice every time you curse. I didn't say no bad words even. Is this where the guy died? Or is his body? That's where the girl ran off from? Sock and bullets. Um, is it? Oh. Huh? Found in Naomi's desk? Is it this desk? B. A. Here? Why is it first person? <laughs> Actually, is there anything here to interact with? No. I can look under things too. I oh, see there's so much you can find. Oh. It's useful to know. Okay. I should probably go back to the basement floor maybe. There's like more map on this side, but I don't know how to get there. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Wrong button. Let's go back to the basement and then we'll try to see if there's more to explore. Are we safe? No. I safe. What can I do for you, Snake? Don't skip mailing's dialogue. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna go back here. I feel like where the ninja went. I didn't follow. Wasn't there like a hole? I wonder who I, I wonder if the discoloration Declarations from all is just for this floor. Okay, let's go here again. Okay. Call the colonel. Hi, right, Campbell. The DARPA chief and President Baker. So now the terrorists know both detonation codes. Yeah, and on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. Snake, now that the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Merrill's holding, or... Or find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned, Hal Emmerich. Mm. In any case, you should contact Merrill by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the CD case? Containing Metal Gear Exercise. Hmm? Do I have to search the floppy disk? The physical. in the game manual? Ah, uh, no, no, no! In any case, you should contact Meryl by. Ah, oh, so if I had the physical? Okay. Oh. 
open view back out. Oh, this is the back of it. So where is the CD? The actual CD-ROM, right? Open all my manual. Ah! Ah! Uh, 14015. Four zero one five one and boom and up one one four zero one five one four uh, one four zero one five Okay. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? Hmm. You're the colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Uh, just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid mm -hmm. Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Me? Whoa. Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew so you pretty. were. How? It's you your eyes. Go over My eye. eyes. They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. Their beautiful, compassionate eyes. How oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Sheesh. Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. <laughs> boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay, you see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right, for the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? Damn. How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. 
Second floor basement. Yeah, that's where his lab is. Where? I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. Second so floor. they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he oh, finishes. No, he's only been to the You're basement. right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Oh. <laughs> What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, Ooh. I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets so and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Okay. Does that mean I have a level 5 card or not yet? I have a level 2 card. But she said... On... There's an... On the first floor? Hold on. Errol, I forgot. On the I go to the first floor? Snake, don't be so impatient. Settle down. I need a little more time to get the cargo door open. I'll call you when I get the door open. Just wait a little, okay? Okay. Okay. I wonder... I want to... Like... What? Is it? No. I want to enter here. Hold my horses. Well, it says that she's gonna open the cargo, and she said the cargo was in the second floor, but the second floor is inaccessible, so I should go to the first floor, right? Is what my my mind's eye is telling me. Unlock the cargo door for you. Oh. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Oh. Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Look for the be kick careful. up enemy. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, 
You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Eh? Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. All right. Find the caked enemy. Find the caked enemy. Find the caked enemy. <laughs> on this side. Oh, is this cargo room? Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Look at that. Just a bit lying down. Oh, okay. Be careful, Snake. That I'm ready? Oh, hi. Yes. Snake, be careful. There are claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat, the informant from the Watergate scandal? It's not funny. Never mind about that. It's not funny. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. My fan? Deep Throat? Okay. Um. How do I... Oh. So this. Ooh, where's the Where's the mine? Where is it? Where's Where's the mine? How do I leave this?
snakes don't belong in Alaska. <laughs> I will not let you pass. He said the thing. Send him a message. <laughs> That's right. You belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Come, let's fight! Alright, this... Claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Okay. I'm ready to listen to this. Deep Throat. Okay, mine detector. Someone mentioned that there, there is a mine detector. And I missed it, so... I will look for it. Okay, it's down. It goes back up. Down. It goes back up. Up. Down. It goes back up. Down. Up. Okay. Oh! <gasps> that was by accident. I thought that was the last one. Okay. Ah. Uh, those yeah.
Wait, actually, can I open that? Nice! Fiber box? <gasps> Is this where? I know this! What a thrill! Just kidding. I don't know what I'm doing. in a white face. Hey, I, 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 I'm all the way over here again. <laughs> okay, down. Up. Oh, too close. Down. Up. Okay. Up. Up. Down. this box. Oh, you know what? I never found the 
I was so preoccupied with the box, I didn't realize I didn't find the metal detector. What is that? He's on the bottom floor. I see. Is it here? There's a red dot. Why? Secret. Show me? No? Below me. Ah, I see. There are those dudes downstairs. Oh, okay. to kill him? Do I just have to do it to him? Just a box. Just a box. Smarter now. Let's give it the cigarette out of my mouth, though. It's not good for my health. Oh, 
Okay. And then... I save. <laughs> Outside of this operation, cut into my codec. You're talking about that guy calling himself Deep Throat. We were monitoring from here. What about it? Well, if somebody knows your frequency, they can call you. But the question is, how did he learn it? It's top secret information. Can you tell me where he called from? I'm sorry, the signal is too weak to locate its source. But I'm sure he's near you, somewhere on the base. Mm. Well, be careful, Snake. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no response. Okay. Okay. I know where to go. I know where to go. I know where to go. I just need to do it. I just have to be patient. Cardboard box. Just a box. I should save. Save. What's up, Snake? Save? Saving won't help? Eh, it won't make me keep it. Oh, I see. Snake in China, they say. You must cross the rip. Can I read the topography? But I can mod. Having monitored. Yeah, boyfriend. She has a boyfriend. Um.
go all the way back here. Shoot. more with feeling? Hmm. Fortissimo. I have to be patient, but you guys, I want to keep playing this. I want to keep playing. Um, I I have to go to a meeting. I have to go to my teachers. I have a teachers meeting. I have a teachers conference. You can call to hide your sounds. I want to keep playing. I kind of want to just rechange my schedule and play it again because I really want to think. I know! I want to keep playing, but I have to. I'm being summoned. You know, because so far, I enjoy it. I. I think I understand. I understand now. This game's addicting. This game is. I like it. Oh, I don't need to save again, do I? Save just to be safe. No, I just saved though. Uh, I'll save anyway. What is it, Snake? Okay. When in doubt, save. It's really good. I understand. I want to play it again already. <laughs> ah, if I didn't have it's okay. Next time, I want to schedule it and not schedule anything afterwards. Mm. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna end it here, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna end it here, and then I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for the Mogul Salt stream. Thank you for thank you for coming. Will this be the start of my new brain rot? I do not know, but I do know that I want to keep playing. It's really fun. So did you? I'm sorry to cut it so short, but I will see you guys soon. Streaming? No. Okay. I'll just end it here then.